Homicide arrest. The pregnant victim, Jalen Quinones, was just 18 years old. Her baby girl was delivered afterward, and the family says the infant is fighting for her life tonight. Fox 5's Lindsay Watch joins us live from Upper Marlboro with this exclusive story. Lindsay. Lauren and Tisha, we want to warn you about this video. There were two women who were shot. In the last you see of them, they are alive and they are running away. This is still very difficult to watch. Just such a cold-blooded crime, and it left a baby girl without a mother and a father in jail. Pregnant until I turn around, chick. Pregnant. Jalen Quinones was pregnant, excited pregnant, to have pregnant, her baby. Pregnant, pregnant. A friend shared this TikTok video. <laughs> what are you doing, man? She got so many pictures, so many videos, you know, of her little belly bump. Jalen's sister, her mother, and friends gathered where this young woman spent her last moments alive. No matter how bad my day was going, she always found some way to make me smile, make me laugh. It was just before 5 in the afternoon Tuesday on Southern Avenue near the D.C. Prince George's County line. You see a group hanging out around a car, people walking by, including a child. Just behind them, two women cross Quinn Street. About 15 seconds later, you see them come running back. Across the street, as if someone called or texted them. They go up to the people around the car, greeting them, giving hugs. Keep eyes on the man in the white hoodie. The women aren't there long. They walk back the way they were headed down Southern Avenue. Police say that's when Malik Johnson raises a gun and opens fire. The women running despite their injuries. We'll replay it back. When the shot is fired, people with Johnson seem to barely react. And then he just casually walks away. The other direction on Southern Avenue. Police say Malik's brother, Michael Johnson, is believed to be the father of Jalen's child. Police say he was there at the scene and is charged as an accessory. The newborn remains hospitalized. She's fighting for her life. A third person arrested, Bianca McDuffie, is also charged as accessory to murder. Investigators are not revealing if she was here too. The, the violence have increased in Prince George's County and, and in Washington, D.C. We have to do something about it. That second woman who was shot did survive. Malik Johnson is charged with first and second degree murder, as well as two counts of attempted murder for that second victim and the surviving newborn baby girl, his niece. Back to you.